So for the chain setup, I have just a standard clutch for the 35 chain and then I have the split sprocket setup which I painted orange and this I believe is a 56 tooth and this clutch is a 12 tooth. And I have a RLV gold on gold chain here, 35. And this is the chain tensioner I made. I don't really use a spring because I feel like that gets a little complicated. But yeah, it seems it works just fine for me. On the wheel setup, I got a X1 pocket bike. Wheel in the front. And I have the five or the standard wheel street tire in the rear. I didn't go with the white lettering on this one because I didn't think it looked that well on this bike. But yeah. And then I guess if you want to add the wheelie bar wheel, that is just off some roller hockey blades. Standard wheel. So next for the handlebars, I have these cowl side mirrors from Amazon, pro taper grips, and you have to order two sets because these are two the, the same size, they're both 7 eighths pro taper grips. And then I have a standard hydraulic brake here. The most standard one, it's considered the worst one usually, but I don't really need it. A uh, really good one for this bike. Kill switch. And then the thumb throttle. Makes it really easy to wheelie. And then the tack. Now going into the engine, we have this. I made a video on this. I vented this. This is just for looks. I like to see the oil going through and I have a weenie pipe for this and the reason I chose this one was um well, it has a good muffler on it and second this bike was designed to model a bike from Motobro he has a video of a guy doing wheelies at 60 plus miles an hour and I noticed he had a pipe like this so this bike I tried to make a replica type but with my own paint uh choices so yeah and then remove the remove the um, gas tank. Put my own. Uh, I think this is off a Megamoto bike, like the full 212 Megamotos. They had an engine plate under. I used this, cut it up. I put this to hold the pulse pump right here. You don't really need this plate. You could use any plate you want, but yeah. So. I have the pulse pump right here. This is the inlet, the pulse, and then the outlet going under, coming out through there. I'll show that side in more detail. Then here's the gas tank. I have a Gatorade bottle for the gas tank, and yep, so it runs through here. Yep, so now the other side of it. So for this side, we have the pulse coming through the adapter right here. 
and it's coming through here, going over there. And a lot of people are going to ask, why didn't you get it from there? And that's because if I ever did want to take the... So the reason I didn't keep the normal gas tank was, first of all, I wanted to try a Gatorade bottle type of setup because I saw it on a different channel. And I needed to put the case in a place where I liked it. So I don't like how some people put it up here behind there. I wanted it under. The only place you can put it under is right here. And that would mess up, like, interfere with the gas tank. So I have to take the tank out. And I put this plate here. And I didn't want to get the line from under there. I don't really like that. Just in case I decided to take this cover off, right? So, yeah. This is poured and polished. I got this filter. Because I don't like the standard ones. I like this. This. So, when you're sitting on it, this will kind of, like... It's like a like a bent filter so your leg won't get kind of in the way as if it came straight out here yeah i painted this this white right here then this I painted orange i used ktm decals all over the bike yep and the j reason for the ugly jb weld here is because this plate this aluminum plate that i bent to cover the battery is really sharp on the side so i didn't really care much about the looks about this i really just like how it wheelies and i used the jb weld for this to cover it so i have a tack here and yep i just have it lined up to there the throttle obviously goes up here to the thumb throttle i love the thumb throttle it makes it super easy to wheelie at least for me so what else about the internals? So stock springs. I already said the port and porting and polishing. I got this aftermarket filter right here. And I didn't bother painting this one like I did in my other engine. And yeah, the main test I really like to do with this bike was just trying to figure out how the pulse pumps works because this is my first ever bike project that I have, so. So the final thing that a lot of people are going to be questioning about is the wiring for the street legal wiring set, right? And I ha I can't show the wire diagram in this video or how to go deep into it because the seat's on top. And so what I'll do is if anyone needs it, I can attach the link and yeah, I'll just make it a little simple. So these hydraulic brakes right here, you attach your connectors, run two lines down right and these are for your your brake light so this is your running light when you press the brakes it's a brake light yep and then these i could have chose the nicer ones on a lot of scooters but i needed space on these bars so i chose these thin this thin setup right here and i don't have the horn or the high beams wired up so it's just the left signal and then the right signal. And you could use the brake light while the signal's on and stuff. Yep. And yeah, and then, so there's the, uh, I made this on off switch, so I didn't have to buy one. You just unplug it to turn all the lights off. This is the main light right here. It's not, totally bright but for this bike just a fun mess around bike first project i ever did it's it, everything works fine and so yeah the batteries in there i have the relay in there as well the wiring was pretty simple there's nothing huge so yeah thanks for watching unique things about this bike that'll that other doodle bugs won't have so First of all, this wheelie bar, it works awesome. I designed it around Moto Bros video on the guy doing the wheelies with his doodle bug. And yeah, it works really good. It's adjustable, but it's, so I used to use a smaller tire in the rear, but now after I got the bigger one, it makes the point of like a, the angle of wheeling a little bit higher now because of the taller tires so i think it's good where it is and yeah so this is something that a lot of doodle bugs won't have 
And I think this frame is great for wheeling because it's a really like short frame. And the next upgrade, if you're making a wheelie type of bike, is the normal peg goes there, but I relocated it to the center. And the reason for that is because in that video, that guy is actually using an Azusa frame. And Azusas have, or Azusa, I don't know how to pronounce that, but they have their pegs right here. So it makes it way easier than when your legs are fully stretched out and you have to go to the front. So you kind of want your, your knees bent when you're wheeling. You don't want them fully relaxed and straight out. So I moved it to the middle and I put grips on top of it. Again, you have to order two sets of seven eighths grips for that. So the full walk around for the custom wheelie doodle bug inspired by the guy on Moto Bros video. His was in Azusa. Behind the scenes, the way I kill it, lose her voice when she trying to scream. We from the trenches. We